Hi guys, howdy do. I'm Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and happy 4th of July. Uh, I am going to keep this super quick because I'm kind of in the middle of 4th of July activities and am uh, just going to do a really quick video to keep my promise of doing the one video a day for 30 days. So today is dun, 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 day 11. This is what I have to do to keep track. So tomorrow will be day 12, day 11. Woohoo! All right, so I'm going to talk about my medicine bag. You've probably heard about medicine bags before. Um, not super sure, but this is mine. It's super, super, super cute and fancy and beautiful, and I love it. Um, but if you're, you know, if you, if, if the medicine bag is something you're interested in, it doesn't have to be um, so fancy. But what a medicine bag is, I'm just going to kind of hold it here as I talk. Um, what a medicine bag is, is a um, something that you, you keep with you when you're practicing shamanism. Um, and it's really for protection. It's, it's a way to hold your really extra special um, tools or things that are really personal to you to bring yourself comfort and protection. Um, it's been around for a really long, long time. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, like I said, this is a very fancy in terms of a medicine bag typically it's just a piece of leather on a leather cord uh, wrapped around your neck and um, and that does it but I don't know I saw this in a store a long time ago and I picked it up and um, I'm thankful that I did so um, I wear this pretty much anytime I'm doing any kind of um, shamanic work with people um, because it does I feel like it brings me comfort it brings me power and peace um, I also wear it usually when I go on a paranormal investigation um, for the same reasons, really for protection. So um, I don't even know what's in here at the moment. Sometimes I change the stones, I change the things that are in my bag um, often, uh, depending on whatever it is that I'm doing or where I'm going. Um, so this is, this is always on here, but this is a piece of um, water buffalo bone. And you can see it's, Let's see if you can see it on there. It's got a hummingbird in the face of a woman, and um, this was carved by a, a man, a little old shaman man, actually, in Indonesia. And in Indonesia, uh, the water buffalo is sacred. They use the water buffalo a lot um, when it's alive for farming and pulling um, plows and things like that. And they really um, honor the water buffalo. So when it does um, pass, they try to use every piece of the buffalo that they can. So that's um, that's where this came from. And I did ask. It's it's um, came from a, a water buffalo that did die naturally. So that's important to me. I don't want to purchase anything that uh, an animal has been killed for. So uh, love this. And the hummingbird is one of my um, spirit animals, and it's it's. Kind of a, an important animal within our family too so um, as you can see I've got these other two little hummingbird pins on there one was a gift from my husband and the other one actually belonged to my grandma so it's really special so I always keep those on there all right let's see what I've got in here yeah. all right what fell on the floor oh it was blue kuzanite. That's what fell on the floor. I love this. Super, super filled with energy. Keeps you protected. Um, I, this is just one of the more powerful stones that I have. You can feel the vibration coming from it. Um, and I just, it's, it's a really special piece. So not surprised that this was in my medicine bag. This is a piece of desert rose selenite. And this is also really good for absorbing negativity, um, good for protection, good for keeping you calm, and um, it's a good good piece to keep by your bed if you're having nightmares. It's really pretty, but this is in its natural form. Actually, maybe it's really not all that pretty. I don't know. It's kind of weird looking, but I love it anyway. And I have an acorn. This is always in my medicine bag because um, I, I 
found this along the way when I was out in the wilderness doing a um, an exercise for my shamanic studies and it was a really amazing day where I was out in the wilderness alone for oh I don't know for a day you know like eight hours or something and you had to go through this whole ritual and it was just um, a beautiful day and I saw things that I'd never seen before um, opened my eyes to things that uh, my regular brain my human brain didn't know were possible so there's a lot out there that we don't know about and um, picked up this acorn during one of those times so it's special to me and I have this little bear fetish isn't it cute my husband got this for me and this is bloodstone and I love bloodstone for lots of reasons can you see that on his on his nose how it has some like red splotches on it that is why they call it bloodstone because it has this um, speckles of red throughout it uh, which is kind of a blood red color but really good for protection really 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 awesome for infections I'm telling you if you have an infection someplace this bloodstone just in general is an awesome tool um, so back to medicine bag sorry if we get crystals involved I get all chatty coffee so this is my medicine bag um, and I'm making a bunch of medicine bags and I don't have any ones that are finished to show you because I keep giving them away as soon as I finish them. Um, but this is in process. Um, I just, you know, I was at Savers, just like a thrift store, and there was this coat. I got two coats, leather coats, and they, um, I just chopped them all up. So this is like a green, oh, this must have been the sleeve or something. Um, but I am going to, you know what I'll do probably on this one? It's kind of at an angle. Well, I'll probably gather it up here and put the, you know, put a tie through here and I'll just sew up the bottom. So it'll be more like a little triangular pouch. That's probably what I'll do with that. But I like that it has the little lace uh, adornment on there. And this is just suede with embroidery on it. Um, you can see I've punched some holes already in there, so all I really need to do is take the um, leather straps and, or, you know, um, what do you call it, the string stuff, and put it through there. Um, got another one going here. This is one. Oh, here's a little tiny one I was working on, and this is just some extra leather I had from another project, so I'll, I'll make another bag out of this, too. Um, but, it, but you don't have to have a leather bag. You don't have to have a fancy bag. You could have a hanky and, and wrap your things up in that and stick it in your pocket, and that's just fine. Um, or you could really keep it simple, and you know when you go to the store and you get these little, these little bags, this would work too. You know, you could just put that on a little string around your neck. Um, same with this kind of little, you know, gifty bag. So do whatever you want, but um, it's just kind of a neat thing traditional type thing to keep with you. So um, looking at the time, and obviously I'm in a chatty mood because we're going on eight and a half minutes. I apologize. I said it was going to be quick. Um, so I'm going to go because it's, like I said, 4th of July. Please be safe out there. Please uh, don't drink and drive. Please don't set anybody's house on fire with illegal fireworks. Um, and I'll stop preaching now. <laughs> um, but enjoy yourself. Have fun with your family. Be well. Be kind and be happy. Namaste. I'll see you tomorrow.